name. Oh, you what? Just listen to her. Just listen. Now, listen. Casper out on that stall, all weathers. She's had to help to pay maintenance for them boys. Not a penny indeed. You bled me dry, Pat. And you had an husband. What do you expect me and her to do? Subsidise your marriage? Then how come I'm always the one that's seen off? You can't deny I don't get a penny off of you. Well, why should you? The boys are both earning. Simon's not even living with you now. Because I'm entitled. Because you took the best years of my life and then you dropped me. You think I'm a soft touch, don't you? Well, a lot of people have thought that. But I tell you, Pat, if I love them and respect them, they can have my last damn fiver. If I don't love and respect them, they don't stand a chance. And you, you dollop, you can suit yourself where you fit in, but you get nothing. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see nothing. You can't hurt me and her. We've had it all round here, mate. Blackmail, fraud, ripping off. We've seen it all. Now I want you, you bitch, out of this square once and for all. And no repeat performances. Understand? Repeat performance? Huh? I haven't even started yet. Told you. It's nothing to do with me. I'm in the clear. Ask me, mother. Oh, that poor stupid woman would protect you if you murdered your own granny. Don't you mind your own business, you fat old cow? Oh, I don't take lip from little boys. All right, Pat, now I had enough of this. I'm standing for it no more. You just won't let yourself see what cats really like. Mr. Beale, will you please get back to the customer side of the bar? Nap off, Snow White. This is nothing to do with you. I'm just trying to tell my ex-husband a few home truths. Yeah, just stirring it up as usual. You think the sun shines out of her backside, don't you? That she's as pure as a driven snow? Well, I've got news for you, sonny boy. She just knows how to use men. Or was that? You've only got her word for that famous rape. And you know she didn't think it was... Don't you ever say that again, you fat cow! <laughs> No one wants you, Pat. Frank left you, your boys left you, and now Roy's left you. You think Frank wants you? Mutton dressed as lamb? You cow! Oh, temper, temper. Anyway, you're nothing to write home about. No wonder Roy can't do it. How dare you! I'll flaming well kill you! You just for me! You take back what you said! You bitch! You cow! He's never underestimate his capacity to make a cock up of things. Apologies to all of you who've already received the invitations to the renewal of our wedding vows. No doubt they'll be collector's items soon. So, all it remains for me is to present the prizes. <clears throat> oh. Oh. Hope you all enjoyed the fireworks. Good night. Oh, I see. So that's what turns him on, is it? It was a stupid thing of a spur of the moment. I don't know what I was thinking of. Roy, it was all make-believe, please. But you can keep it. You can keep all of it. Much for no more lies, no more deceit. You get out! No, Roy. Please, Roy! What did I ever see in you? I must have been one sad case to be that desperate, or maybe, maybe I just pitied you. But I love you! What's going on? Actually, go back to bed. Mo Harris was right. Once a tart, always <laughs> a tart. You disgust me! Oh, oh, Roy! Get up, filthy arm! No! Oh. I'll this for you, Pat. Now, you dirty rotten bitch! Get out of my pub right now! I'm not going anywhere. If you so much as breathe a word of this to anyone, I will have you in court so fast your head spins. I'll take you for every penny. You won't even have a pair of earrings to swan about in. What makes you think I can be bothered? You ain't worth it, Janine. I've had it with you for good and all. Fine. Then I'll try and do without a child-killing, drunk-driving ex-hooker in my life. You think you've got away with this, don't you? But believe me, it'll come back on you one day, and when it does, I'll be there watching when they take you away. And I hope you burn in hell. First Paul Truman, and now this. You never used to be so cruel. Things change. But they can change back, can't they? Pat, I sense the word redemption on the tip of your tongue again. Now, you need to know, if you actually say it out loud, I'm gonna laugh.
Fair warning, yeah? Only I really wouldn't want to hurt your feelings. Please, listen to me. If you ever had a grip, you're losing it. Who do you think you are? I don't want to huh? see you go under. I mean, you and Johnny... Well, under Johnny? Oh, you should know all about that, shouldn't you? I mean, look at yourself! You're nothing! You're a painted old troll up no one wants, and you still think you can lecture me on how to run my life? Oh, because you've made such a rip-roaring success of yours, haven't you? There's nothing left of you, is there? That poor Truman. I'll get your gob shot if I were you. You know, they say it's easier after the first one. I bet they're right. <laughs> and after a bit, I think I might even get to enjoy it. Leonor. Carlotte, yes. You're a lot, no. You better wise up, lady. Because with me, family comes before anything. <laughs> and you call that criminal your family? <laughs> so you made a mistake. We all do from time to time, you know. Don't I know it? You've taken Patrick for the biggest mug on the planet. Ah. Uh -uh. Patrick will understand. And while I am here, <laughs> why don't you try and dress the party? I mean, people must walk in here and think they're looking at a madame from a brothel. I'm surprised the police didn't show you in a cell with your family, Dino. You want to say that again? You're deaf. I think you got the message. And I got a message for you, sweetheart. I'll pick up my wages on Monday. Have you been sleeping with that old tart? Now, just a minute. I saw him. You've been sleeping with my husband? Well, to be honest, I don't remember doing an awful lot of sleeping. Oi! <laughs> So, what's the usual form for dealing with a mistress? Slap me if it makes you feel better. No. It doesn't. Because you're nothing but a worn out, dried up old egg! He had art failure. Oh, what fellow wouldn't? Sleeping with that. Get off me, you cow! yourself, you stupid, fat old tart. The only thing Frank Butcher wanted from you was sex. Oh, well, let's say you're right, then. Could that be because he wasn't getting enough at home? Did he say that? Just a thought. Did you talk about me? Well, he said something. How but... dare you! About not being quite satisfied. Get out of my pub! With pleasure! Oh, and just remember this, Peggy. It was my pub before it was yours. Mine and Frank's. This was my kitchen. Along the hall was my bedroom. Mine and Frank's bedroom. We were happy here. You bitch! You kill! That is never the groom! Yeah, afraid so. You let this go ahead! But you weren't even gonna come! Janine! Oh, Pat, just leave it, Pat! Janine! I am talking to you! Look at me! Who is this woman? I've never seen her before in my life. She knows exactly who I am. And her name ain't Judith Bernstein. It's Janine Butcher. I should know. I'm her stepmother. And she's about as Jewish as a bacon sandwich. Yeah, well, short of a confession, I don't see... Oh, oh, you think it was me? Well, don't they say killing gets easier the more you do it? How dare you? How dare 
Bless you. Ah, do excuse me. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure you realise by now that London is the greatest city in the world. But sadly, it does have its undesirable elements. Isn't that right, Pat? Absolutely right, Peggy. For example, they say in London you're never more than six feet away from a rat. Well, we proved that today. Ladies and gentlemen, this... Luckily, in this town, vermin is easily dealt with. Yes, some people favour the humanitarian approach, but we prefer the old-fashioned way. In the good old traditional East End way. Hang on. <laughs> that is Queen Vic property. <laughs> but hands off, Ryan. You keep your distance. I can't do that. Why don't you just mind your own business, Pat? <clears throat> Now that, madam, is a reminder. Pause off Ryan. He's family now. You're setting her up to be humiliated. Mind you, that's probably something she's used to because she's, uh, she's on medication. You evil old cow. I know what you are. You are a bully. A really nasty bully. Really? Well, let me tell you, madam, you are an sat there like butter wouldn't melt and you laughing like the cat that's got the cream well i hate to disappoint you tiddles but i reckon the cream's a bit sour well you'd know all about playing games wouldn't you and what do you mean by that pat you've played off so many men against each other you deserve a lifetime achievement award in fact they should rename this pub the slapper cat <laughs> She's a far worse thing thrown in her face. Let's get you home. Do you know what, Pat? The, uh, the beer facial really suits you. Oh, shut up, Janine. 